It has happened all too often. A troubled teenager gets his hand on a weapon and lives are changed forever. But why? On the record investigates, and as Fox's Douglas Kennedy found out, the trail can often lead right to the medicine chest. Two years ago, 16-year-old Corey Badsgard took a rifle to his high school and held 23 classmates hostage. Describe around that time how you were feeling. Um, in the morning, I just I didn't feel like going to school. I felt I felt sick. Didn't feel like really you know like I could get up very well. And so I went back to bed. And next thing I remember, I'm, I'm in juvie at, in the detention center where I used to live. <laughs> Just one more apparently unexplainable violent outburst at school. Unexplainable no, to everyone but Corey's dad. So in your mind, there's no doubt what happened here. And no doubt that the medication did this. I mean, he was had amnesia, you know, hallucinations earlier, abnormal dreams, which are all side effects of the medication. That morning, Corey was on a mix of antidepressants prescribed for what doctors called situational depression. His father says the pills turned Corey from a sensitive teenage boy to a volatile marauder, susceptible to blind rage. Oh, he was never a violent kid. I mean, he's always been a good kid, loved us, hugged us all. You know, he's never watched violent videos. And, and until medication, he started, you know, after that, then we realized that he was having aggr aggression problems and, you know, was out of character. At Fox News, we found the bad scarred story with antidepressants compelling. So we investigated further. We found a disturbing number of recent school shooters were either on medication or were experiencing withdrawal. The list includes 15-year-old Kip Kinkle withdrawing from Prozac when he shot 22 classmates, killing two after murdering his mother and stepfather at his home in Springfield, Oregon. 14-year-old Elizabeth Bush on Prozac when she blasted away at fellow students in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, wounding one. 18-year-old Jason Hoffman on Effexor and Selexa when he opened fire at his California high school, wounding five. 15-year-old Sean Cooper on a mix of antidepressants when he shot students in Idaho. 15-year-old T.J. Solomon also on a mix of antidepressants when he aimed his shotgun at classmates in Conyers, Georgia, wounding six. And 17-year-old Eric Harris on Luvox when he and partner Dylan Klebold killed 12 classmates and a teacher in the bloodiest school massacre yet, Columbine. One of the things that in the past we have known about depression is that it very very rarely leads to violence it's only been since the advent of these new SSRI drugs that we have uh, murderers sometimes even mass murderers taking antidepressant drugs